Matt Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. We having fun yet? <laughs> We're having a great time right now. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. Every rule of society and civilization being re- re- rewritten right now. <laughs> huh. Never has violence been so acceptable uh, to leftists as it is right now. Uh, wow. I mean, not only is it seemingly acceptable, it's actually desirable. They're actually encouraging violence because it's not, I mean, whoever said, whoever said that protests uh, have to be polite <laughs> and, and tame and quiet, whoever said that? Uh, just about everybody, uh, almost everyone said that, actually. So, disbanding police departments. Uh, we got that going on. Actually, Joe Biden said no to disbanding police departments. So I wonder if he'll this week he'll, he'll definitely be hurt by that with the radicals this week. He'll come around, maybe, hmm. maybe in, after he's beaten into submission because you can't say anything or do anything without. Uh, I mean, anything that goes against the mob. If you go against what the mob is saying and feeling right now, good luck. Good luck. You'll lose your livelihood. You'll be silenced. To lose your life, period. You could lose your life. There's no doubt about that. Especially without police around to help uh, to show up or anybody to call 911. I'm, I'm wondering, you know, instead of the local police departments, and we have some... We got some people questioning that, asking that question. Oh, oh, you, on our list today. Are you talking about Minneapolis? Uh, on yeah, Wolf Blitzer. Oh, right, that was fun. Yeah. yeah. So Wolf asked, "What does it mean to dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department?" Oh, it's that same lady uh, from uh, uh, City Lisa, Council. You're pledging to dismantle the mm-hmm. Minneapolis Police Department. What exactly does that mean? Yeah, tell and us. Why do you think uh, it's go. past the point of simple, simply engaging in some significant mm-hmm. reforms? Okay, here we go. Got the answer. Yes, well, over the last two weeks, we've seen thousands of people in Minneapolis take to the streets and raise their voices for change, Uh telling us that incremental reform has not worked to keep our community safe. We're also seeing major institutions like the University of Minnesota, our parks and schools, major businesses and arts institutions ending their relationship with our police department. So it is clear that we need to make major shifts Mm both in the short term yeah, but what does it mean it? to dismantle the police department? Our community is ready department. to reimagine public safety We're going to reimagine from the ground public up, safety. To holistically to make sure every single member of our community is safe. Uh, okay, yeah, well, there's but What your does answer. it mean to dismantle well, the she Minneapolis just told you. police department? She said we're going to reimagine. Wow. So Wolf tries to ask the question in a different way since she didn't answer that question. <laughs> She's just talking about, well, there's thousands of people in the streets. Okay, right, right. That's not the question. So he kind of reasks it in a diff- he asks in a different way. Who responds? Somebody starts shooting. All right, Lisa, you say that in the short term, uh, this doesn't mean necessarily that Minneapolis will have no police department. Uh, the Attorney General Bill Barr just commented on calls to defund police, saying these calls are dangerous and that pulling back on policing will lead to more harm done to these communities. What's your reaction? What happens if there's a criminal out there with a gun and starts shooting people? Who's going to respond if there's no police force? Look, it is our top priority to keep every single member of our community safe. And if you look back at the last 150 years of our police department, it is becoming increasingly clear that that model of policing isn't working. So we need to invite in our whole community, the nine members of the city council that came from every corner of our city to stand together to make this commitment. We don't have all the answers. We don't have any answers. It was a community process to help (laughs) reimagine public safety. Give me one answer. We still have a police department in Minneapolis today. I hope it won't take 150 years to get to that looking forward, that next solution. But we have a lot of wisdom in our community. We have but invested stupid. in community-based safety strategies. None of it's we coming from her. We did an analysis of all the reasons right. people call 911 in our city. Uh, because she's not answering the question. So Wolf asks again. Okay, yeah. I, stop with your rhetoric. Who responds? 
And here's what she says. Who would be so responsible, though, as, Andrea? As who would be? Re the this is a question that you keep hearing. Who would be responsible if you did need someone to respond with a gun? If there was an individual or a group of people simply going out there and killing a, a other citizens for no reason at all, who would be responsible to go out there and try to stop it? Well, in my mind, well, and as it stands right now today, we still have a Minneapolis Police Department, and that will be their responsibility to what? address those. What? Um, no, what? Yeah, that's what we're saying. Issues. You're trying to eliminate so, it. Lisa, you agree? Good. No. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. So at least for the time being, <laughs> there would there would continue to be a, a much smaller, <laughs> much more limited. Don't Minneapolis answer for them, Wolf. But it no, be he's got to let him off the hook. Dismantled. He's got uh, Lisa, to. is that what I'm hearing? Yes. You know, I think, again, community I, trust in this existing department uh -huh. is so mm. low Let's reimagine. that there is an urgent yeah. need for change now. And mm. we have a state action, the Human Rights Department took <laughs> against our police department for patterns of racial discrimination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The city council has mm -hmm. agreed to fully cooperate with that and do All what right. we can to use those tools. Are we going to we reimagine it or not? a temporary restraining order that put more controls in place for how police are responding to the protests mm -hmm. in our streets right now. Mm -hmm. So there's clear need for urgent change. Urgent change. And as one of my colleagues said, you know, it's clear that we need to dismantle this department. What comes back in its place <laughs> is what we need to hear from our community. Oh, I see. And Somebody so else is going to figure that out. together on Sunday, okay. we committed to a right. year-long process to invite everyone wow. in uh -huh. to hear what wow. people are imagining for public safety. Oh, okay. And we mean that. I can't hear we any more of this. From our you right. can't take it anymore? I can't. Uh, I've got some ideas, though, Okay. on what they can do instead of the police department. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, they can They can install cry rooms. All over the city. So huh. when you dial 911, an operator tells you where your nearest cry room is located. So you just go there and you cry. Um, oh. University of Utah has used that quite effectively. That's right, they have. You got some, mm -hmm. The cry closet mm -hmm. there for the godless animals who are upset about anything they've heard or seen or whatever they've been offended by. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have uh, the operator, when you call 911, yeah. maybe the operator walks the victim through an interview of the criminal who's breaking into your house with a gun. Oh. You could ask them, um, go ask the criminal, why do they feel the need to do this? Is there something disturbing in their childhood that has forced them to act this way? <laughs> you, could, uh, you could perhaps tell the person that calls 911 that, uh, or tell the person... Tell the person who's breaking into your home that you're making an undocumented entrance into my home. Oh. And I appreciate, you know, the fact that you're making that statement, that I have things that maybe you want and are entitled to. I would just appreciate it if you didn't hurt me or my family while you do it. Or maybe you don't say anything at all to them. Maybe just simply open the door for them so they don't hurt themselves kicking down your door or they don't cut themselves breaking your glass and crawling in through a window mm. once they're inside of course you just you allow them to act naturally you help them help them carry your big screen tvs out to their getaway vehicle uh because those things can be quite heavy yeah you don't want people getting hernias They're heavy no you sure don't they took the time in your house to break into your home the least you can do is make sure they don't get a hernia do you mind if we go back just can i throw out a hypothetical i know this is crazy it would never happen this way but if, if you're headed toward that that cry closet or that cry room there you know mm -hmm. what if what if the criminal which is of course is such a nasty word to be calling someone who breaks the law what if they block your 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 path to the the cry room what should what should you do then uh, you should stop and cry right there where you are. Okay. Yeah, and put yourself at their mercy. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you've got to submit to whatever personal body violations they have in mind for you, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. if they want to beat you senseless, you let them do that. Okay. If, you, if they want to rape you, you let them do that. Okay. Um, because resistance is simply a manifestation of your privilege. So you don't want to, you don't want to manifest your privilege... Do you? Res what do you have the privilege not to be raped Resistance or beaten? Is the manifestation <laughs> of, of your, your privilege? privilege. Uh, today's show title, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't even take it. Uh, I, I just I I don't know what you do in an environment like this. I don't understand. I seriously don't understand how it's gotten this bad. I guess because we let it.
Yeah. We didn't we didn't challenge this crap when all the political correct speech began, and now the politi- politically correct speech has led to politically correct society, and in every case, uh, traditional values are out the window. Yeah, and and the people that that we've mocked and pointed out the absurdity of when they've been in the streets are now running cities such as Minneapolis, as, as you just saw demonstrated on CNN. Yeah. And listen to that mindless moron. That she, she doesn't have a clue. Neither one of them had a clue. Well, right now, the the police would would respond. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but you're going to reimagine law enforcement. You're going <laughs> to you're redoing it. They're not going to be there. Your goal is to dismantle them. So then, who? Well, that's where the community comes in. <laughs> what? I, I just you. What? Idiocracy, man. Maybe you should come up with the idea of what you're going to do before you start talking about dismantling the police department. Maybe you need an alternative to the police department at the beginning of this thing. I, I, I just don't... How do you get through the day when you're that stupid? <laughs> I really... How do you remember to feed yourself or even breathe when you're so butt stupid? Those are the kinds of things you say. I just, I don't know. I just really don't understand it. Uh, got lots of pat heads that have been sending us this uh, perfect meme. Mm. If 2020 was a slide. Oh, the kid on the slide. Oh, mm-hmm. my goodness. Yeah. That's, this is uh, what the 2020 slide would be. <laughs> it's a cheese grater. Yeah. You're sliding down a cheese grater. Oh, that's true. Painful. Uh-huh. Quite painful. <sighs> Uh, from the Dunedain Ranger. Hey, I heard your show today. Oh, that is all. <laughs> oh, that's 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 yeah. a kind uh, yeah. acknowledgement. Is it, is it? Is it though? <laughs> I don't he, know. He didn't say if he liked it. Or no, if it was no, no. Good. Or... Heard your show. Hmm. Okay, thank you. All I right. guess I don't. I don't know. Should I thank you, or should I apologize for it? Hmm. I don't really know. Yeah, there's no follow up. Also, yesterday, uh, we discussed with Hillary Kennedy, who stopped by. We talked about Alicia Silverstone and her fantastic mothering skills. Ugh. What a parent she is. <clears throat> Just a couple of the weird things. Uh, one, she doesn't believe babies should have diapers. Correct. That's just one of many issues we have with her. Jeez. Let's that kid crawl around and drop his deuce all over the house. <laughs> so, uh, Republic Mike says... Sounds like Alicia Silverstone could have used gallons of Genesis 950. <laughs> yes. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. So, you know, how many accidents were there on her way to... Because she said they should just be bottomless. They shouldn't have anything on their butts. You don't restrict them. So, if you think that they're going to poop, you pick them up and you take them to the toilet. You and you hold them over the toilet. They're going that to- is unreal. That is unreal. There are so many times when you don't know... <sighs> And they're not going to tell you. Right. So, like he's an inf- oh my surprise, goodness. you have another little present <laughs> on the carpet. Oh, man. Congratulations. Well, now she's taking baths with her nine year old son. Uh, yeah, well, probably a lot of baths because the kid's been trained to poop wherever he wants. I did. What was the other thing? There was another. Oh, uh, the really- other thing was uh, didn't put him in the crib ever, right? Oh, yeah. Because the crib, I don't know, felt like jail or something. I don't know, <laughs> confinement of some sort. So, yeah, the kid slept with them the whole time. Blue Bear. Or Bear Blue. Bear or... Blue. Bear Blue was the name. Going to be in a police lineup of <clears throat> or... Oh, man. You believe the problems that kid's going to have? I tell you. Uh, Bovine Scatology tweets, Dallas carbon neutral by 2050? <laughs> yeah. I thought we only had eight to ten years. What was I thinking? Right? Well, you were thinking what they were saying, that we only had eight to ten years. <laughs> So, yeah, what good is carbon neutral by 2050? And again, a 30-year <clears throat> plan? I mean, for environmentalists? Come on. Crazy. Yeah. From uh, Conqueror Worm, Keith, been a while since we heard from The Mummy. Oh. Can you play it today? Oh, I can't for play me? anything. I mean, the, the power he, lies with Mr. He doesn't Peck have Grant. that ability. I don't have that ability. No, you got to come to me gotta for that. To Pat for audio. <laughs> So what uh, are you going to give him his... All right. Uh, and that. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I love him. There you go. Uh, all right. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, 
And there it is, the 3,000-year-old mummy. Yes. That's what he sounds like. <laughs> uh, all right, let me take 60 seconds tell you about Ashford University. You know, we all have dreams. The small ones are easy to talk about. The big ones, the ones we really want, not so much sometimes. If we say them out loud, it feels like then you don't have a chance of them becoming true. You feel like you jinx it. Well, I said, when it comes to your future, dream big. The bigger, the better. And the dream of a better tomorrow starts with a nice degree from Ashford University. Ashford University's online bachelor's and master's degree programs let you learn on a convenient and really flexible schedule. They have 24-7 access to your classroom, daily support, and financial aid is available. They give you all the tools you need to help make your dreams a reality. At Ashford, expert faculty teaches you real-world skills from real-world experience in online classes built for life's twists and turns. And you can learn from home or wherever you feel comfortable. So dare to dream big. Your tomorrow starts today at Ashford University. No fee to apply or standardized testing required to enroll. Go to ashford.edu slash unleashed. That's ashford.edu slash unleashed. Not all programs are available in all states. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. All right, just to take the edge off, uh, let's just play this stupid cat video that Keith keeps pushing. Uh, it's from Dam Schiffler, right? Oh, this, yeah. It's uh, his cat. Uh-huh, yeah, I think so. Trying ice cream for yeah. the first time. Oh, yeah. That's a uh, ice cream cat. Watch this. It's going to like it. It's going to like it. Yeah, it is. Come on. Try the ice cream. Oh, <laughs> look at that reaction, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's really p- weird. <laughs> Isn't that something? Okay, it's, it's ice cream. It's How could cold. you have that reaction? It almost looks like some cheesy 70s Zoom or something. <laughs> ah, Over-the-top reaction. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I wish I wish I had that reaction to ice cream. Uh, I'd be a uh, lot better off. <laughs> uh, but so how many times not... a week would you say, in all honesty, you consume ice cream? Seven days in a week, Pat. Twelve? Twelve out of yeah, seven. Yeah, so not quite twice a day. Right. Yeah, 12 out of 7 times. So, I mean, you take a yeah. half a day off here and there. <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah, uh, it's good, man. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, probably, sorry. Probably, in reality, probably twice. In a week? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's, it is bad. It's bad enough. It's hmm. bad enough. Um, because I need to take some time off from that and, you know, everything else that I eat that's Oh, not there's me. more that you're consuming. Yeah, it's not just in a vacuum, ice right. cream only. Right. I gotcha. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. 888 Also, at Pat Unleashed on Twitter, have you seen all these uh, videos of people who are policing the streets, these protesters that are getting in the streets... And just stopping vehicles uh, on their path. When did this become an acceptable an acceptable situation where you can stand in front of my car and I'm just expected to let you do it, and then I can be surrounded by other extreme radical goofballs, and I'm just supposed to sit there and let you beat on my car, you know, wreck the the paint, scratch it up, put dents in it, kick in the door, drag me out of the car if you can. Uh, break the window and pull me out of there. I, and I can't do anything about it. When did that become a thing? Mm. Uh, did, did you see this? Uh, we have the... <clears throat> do we have the video ready of the... Yeah, the unhinged protesters screaming at drivers. Yeah, this seven? is crazy stuff. Yeah. Watch her. She do just... black lives matter to you? Do black lives matter to you? <laughs> do black lives matter? All right, Karen? What? Why do you say <laughs> you little Oh my oh, gosh! Karen, you wanna f- go, Karen? And she's a Karen because she's not raising her fist yeah. in solidarity. No, she literally just no. drove up to the red Until light and didn't lives look at you. Matter? Until Black Lives Matter, no life matters. Black, white, yellow. That is not our fight. Until Black Lives means something to this country. No. So no. her fight has to be your fight. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. She committed the sin of driving forward and not looking at her. Until yeah. Black 
Like she, she must, she must adhere to everything this protester wants. Apparently, I. So they surround her car. Yeah. They, uh, I'm, it goes further. I wish we would have kept it going because the guy, uh, <clears throat> the men start getting into the picture and oh, telling wow. her she's not going anywhere. You're Are not you going serious? anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. They surround her car. <clears throat> and tell her she's not. You're not going anywhere. What do you mean I'm not going anywhere? Watch me. Watch me drive right over the top of you if I have to, because I'm not going to let you. Uh, I'm not going to let you beat my car, beat me. I'm not. I'm going. I'm leaving. I've got places to go and things to do, and I'm not going to sit here and be berated. When, since when, do passing motorists wow. have to answer? To these douchebags. So if if that lady driving doesn't raise her fist Mm -hmm. and yell Black Lives Matter, then she deserves that fate. Right. Unreal. Look, and I don't say this flippantly. And I mean this with all sincerity and seriousness. In this year 2020, if you aren't legally carrying a firearm with you. Oh, yeah. You need to seriously reconsider that. Yeah. Yeah. We all need to, those of us who don't have concealed weapons permits, need to get them so you can, you can be packing wherever you go. I mean, she, she, if she just calmly displays the gun, mm-hmm. they're going to scatter like flies. They're I would think so. Pew. I would think so. Standing in the middle of an intersection holding a sign? I'm just wondering, okay, you're not supposed to be in the street. You're not supposed to be blocking traffic. So if I drive slowly forward and you just stand there, Am I going to be liable for what happens to you? Am I going to be charged criminally by the police uh, if I if I do drive through that crowd? Your Honor, I had the right of way. She was not in a crosswalk. The light. They was were green. surrounding me, and, and I had. I felt threatened. I felt threatened. I mean, you have uh, self defense at that point. You have so many lines of defense there. I I would think that you could you could drive through them, but I don't know that for a fact. But, I mean, legally. Do we know what town that was in? Look like. Florida or something. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Uh, but it's hap- that kind of stuff is happening everywhere. It's just it's going on everywhere. And and now we answer to these buffoons. Like that, the motorist. She didn't have to. I don't have to answer to you. I don't have to tell you that Black Lives Matter or or if I think they don't. Hmm. I I don't have to say all lives matter. Black Lives Matter. I'm minding my own business. Mind your own business. Maryland, by the way. I don't answer to you. Jeez. I, it is. It's insane what's happening. It's a man Mm hmm. A man And you just wonder because there are a lot of people who said, and there were a lot of tweets uh, underneath that video that said, well, I'm backing up and I'm coming at you full speed, so you better move. <laughs> I mean, so I don't know, though, if you do that, are you going to be charged with a crime when somebody doesn't move? I mean, I, my guess is if you're coming at them full speed, they're going to move. You might want to ask. You might want to say, you're really hoping to get a lot of clicks on this video that you're shooting of me right here, right? I, I, I've, got a, I've got a way for you to get a lot of clicks. Stand back. Yeah. And then proceed with whatever <laughs> that uh, one Twitter user said. And it's just... I. I mean, she's unhinged from the very beginning, screeching at every person and that goes by. Remember what she did, this lady in the car. She was wearing a white hood, right? Yeah. And she was. Uh, yeah, no. No, she had a burning cross. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no. Okay, Mm-mm. she. Okay, she flipped. No. She flipped him off. Is no, what she, she did. No, she really didn't. She. She just didn't acknowledge them. Yeah. So. Well, that's enough to set you off, isn't it? Though. I mean, I guess then the all protester... of a sudden she's Karen and she's an yeah. F and B and all that kind of stuff. Wow. You know. Wow. The protester really kept it together in hindsight. I mean, you didn't look at her. I mean, that's enough to set somebody <laughs> off. I mean, what are we that's coming to, to? That's enough to cause a world war. Right. Right there. You just ignored right. somebody. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is. In the article, it actually said the rudeness of the driver, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that, that, they weren't rude at all. If anything, Karen, as she's been come to known in this story, the driver, uh-huh. she was driving while on her phone. Right. Yes. She wasn't. Which was it wasn't stupid. that she was like 10 and 2 and not looking at the protesters. She was driving up to the red light yeah, looking at her phone. Yeah, she was too busy texting uh, to pay attention to the... <laughs> I, bet, I bet her text was, <laughs> boy, there's some idiots at the intersection at, uh, 
at 270, whatever interstate that was right there. Uh, seriously, if people are unhinged. Like, that's their default position now Yeah. in society. Yes. <laughs> but it's the correct, it's the mob uh, position right now. So the mob position is is fine. You can start out unhinged if you want. And everybody understands it. Well, you should be unhinged because uh, racism is unhinged. And so we need to fight it in an unhinged manner so that it will make a lingering impression on people and we can have change right now. Uh-huh. Oh, we've got change going on right now. That's for sure. So if we're, you... we're changing into a society that hates each other uh-huh. and that's going to be at each other's throats. And we're going to have civil war if we don't stop this madness. And don't forget, uh, the moral of the story is if you text and drive, you're a racist. <laughs> And if you don't immediately slam on your brakes, give the the black power salute, right. and yell, yeah, yeah, BLM, then you're a douchebag, you're a Karen, you're a B-word, you're... And you're going to need a new paint job before the day's over. Yeah. Okay. If they would have started beating on her car, and they might have, I don't know, I, I didn't see it that long, but uh, they might have. And then are they liable for the damages? Because if I do that to a car any time today... Uh, and I'm caught, somebody is going to hold me liable for the damages. I, I, do, I just don't understand how they're getting away with all manner of violence and all manner of yeah. theft. And I love Duct Tape Freak who just tweeted out, there's some irony in watching the mother of all Karens call other people Karen. <laughs> Isn't that true? <laughs> Jeez. So true. Wow. I mean, she's just screeching at her. Listen to her, the tone of her voice from the very beginning. Just play the beginning of that. And watch the driver. She's just Does not Black looking. Black Lives Matter to you? Do black lives matter to you? Do black lives matter, all right, Karen? <laughs> white piece of <laughs> you little Whoa. You white piece wow. of Yeah, she's a oh, white God, piece of crap. Go, Karen. Who's the racist? Uh-huh. And by the way, this person screeching at the no, white person is no. a white person. Until black lives matter! <laughs> Until black lives matter, no life matters! Black, white. That is not no, our fight. No, sorry. That, Until that's black not our fight. Lives mean something to this <laughs> that's country. not our fight, Karen. No. No. Uh, no. No. No, you must believe as I do. Yeah. And they're getting what her license plate? Yeah, for what? You're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. Okay. Yeah, see? Black matter. Black matter. <laughs> Watch me go somewhere. I'm going right over the top of your car. Marcus, if you don't move. The driver made the mistake. Uh, she <laughs> she was so enthralled with the text. She should have been rolling. And when 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 mm-hmm. the stupid yelling lady came up to the window, she should have had a camera in her face. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I really don't know. If police respond to that, are we in such a weird place that she gets in trouble? They're taking her license plate. What are you going to report to the police? We had a person who wouldn't say Black Lives Matter. Uh, it was a Karen who uh, ignored us when we were screeching at her. We've got her license plate, though. Can you track her down and arrest her? You want to see this video? It's uh, Man. it's on Twitter at Pat Unleashed right now. Uh, the Blaze had this story yesterday. My goodness. I, I'd love to hear from a law enforcement officer. What happens if you roll through a crowd like that that's blocking your path in the street? I mean, maybe you d- drive through slowly just to make sure they, they move, and once they're out of the way, then you speed through. Uh, but if they don't move and somebody gets hurt, are you responsible for that? When you're, I guess it depends your state, huh? When you're afraid for your life. Yeah, in Maryland, you're probably going to be convicted. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, here we are. Here we are. It's no longer where we're headed. We're no, here. We're, we're there, yeah. Oh, we're here. We're definitely there. 888 also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Of course, we haven't scratched the surface. We've got so much to get to today. And, of course, uh, Jeffy is coming up next, too, oh, uh, to chew the fat with us, find out what's on his mind. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to find out what's on his mind. You know? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to gonna come in here, and uh, he's got a lot of stuff, though. Oh, my goodness. He's got some stuff from the Chicago mayor. <laughs> That lady, Lori Lightfoot. She's she is insane. a piece of work. Yep. <laughs> All right, more Pat Grand Leash coming up. That's what I meant. The nothing, no similarity whatsoever to any Black Sabbath song. Any similarity that there exists is purely coincidental. 
and uh, only available through the express written consent of Major League Baseball. <laughs> Is there so. a Major League Baseball the consent? No, there isn't, but there might be one day. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe in uh, 2026 it'll come back uh, after uh, Elon Musk goes to Mars. Maybe huh. we can oh, an expansion play some team baseball. Up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. hmm. the ball's going to fly a lot further right. on Mars. Launching pad. Right. You're going to have a lot of home runs. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, we, we, can we turn we Jeffy's, turn Jeffy's m- mic on? on since we're... When somebody does a bad job, like this stupid mic, you shouldn't right. pay the best, sir. Thank you. <laughs> So let's not pay Martin. Is that what we're saying? Let's not pay Martin today. Okay. Yeah. Good point, Thank President you. Trump. Ouch. Thank you. Wait, people get paid to do this? <laughs> no, uh-uh, no. 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 Was, no. 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 Like, we were just kidding. Oh, that's a euphemism. Joke. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Time to chew the fat with Jeffy. I hope everyone uh, watching and listening and in this room celebrated World Ocean Day on Monday. Uh, yeah. The, oh, are you kidding okay. me? Oh, you kidding okay. me? Because I, 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 I almost forgot, and then we got, I went out and bought a bunch of seaweed and hung it around the house. <laughs> so, Did you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The that was kind of late, though. It was. Wait until was this late. week to do that? <laughs> we, wow. Monday night. Wow. Monday night, because I forgot about it. Yeah. So next year. Yeah, first we'll of June, man, we start. <laughs> We start Ocean right, Day. Right. You don't wait? No, wow. we don't wait. We start and, hold right on. when June begins. You said you went out and bought a lot of <laughs> yeah, seaweed. Yeah, a bunch of seaweed. Where did you go and buy house? a yeah. bunch of seaweed? At the seaweed store. The seaweed I mean, store? Uh, of course. Seaweed or us uh, from one <laughs> yeah. place. Yeah. Seaweed or us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, had, I mean, there weren't very many people there, social distancing and all. But uh, <laughs> okay. they were happy to have a customer. Congratulations are in order. Plenty of congratulations in order. First, we start off with Lady Gaga's uh, Chromatica. It's the fastest selling album of 2020. It, which uh, isn't saying much, I'm sure. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> what did I? What do you mean? Did, did you hurt his feelings? Did I hurt your oh, feelings? I mean, look, on it, that? It's outselling the rest of the top 10 combined. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. wow. I mean, okay. it sold 53,000 copies. Uh, wow. So That's probably worse than I imagined. According to the official charts company, Jeez. it was the week's most popular album in every format physical, streaming, Downloads as well as <laughs> the fastest seller on vinyl. Compare this: eighty five hundred, eighty five hundred albums sold on vinyl. Compare wow. this to what used to be a number I one know. selling album, where in a, in an opening week of a of a big artist album, you could sell a million copies, easy, easy. And I easy. think Taylor Swift is probably the last artist to do that. But uh, now fifty three thousand. Well, that was the first week in the UK. I mean, it it, it topped the uh, album chart at number one. Yeah, her sixth album to do, and it topped the Billboard uh, Hot one hundred. You know, the duet with her and uh, Ariana. So uh, you know, she's on fire. <laughs> on fire. Mm-hmm. More congratulations are in order. Okay. To uh, New Zealand, congratulations! They have conquered coronavirus. COVID free. Over. The Rona's done. They lifted in all New social and economic restrictions, except for they still have border controls. I don't know why they have the hate there. Uh, declaring Monday that it was xenophobes. free of coronavirus. Freaking xenophobes. Only took them 75 days. 75 days. Wow. The prime minister... Of course, uh, it helps to be out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> surrounded by nothing but water. It does help. Really? Yeah, that helps a little bit. Weird. Oh, maybe they lifted yeah. the restrictions just Weird. in time for World Ocean Day is what it was. Oh, maybe. yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I mean, uh-huh. the prime minister, she said she danced for joy. So it's <laughs> over. We're, you know, in New Jersey, mm-hmm. Governor Murphy up there extended the uh, restrictions for 30 days. And then a few days after that, he came out and he lifted them. You know who got on the phone, as your uh, pet heads have pointed out. Well, by what authority did you nullify the Bill of Rights? I called up Cardinal Tobin, uh, Cardinal Joe Tobin in Newark. Okay, oh, that's clear. And then he, he said, lifted no, the restrictions. He lifted it. Yeah, we're nope. opening it. Thank back you, up. Cardinal Joe Tobin. Thank you for having him lift the restrictions. Yeah, Appreciate we're good. That. I think Texas is pretty close to wide open. That's starting this weekend. We are. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're going back to church this weekend. Mm. Ooh. Going back to church. Ooh. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, but the virus, <laughs> it's rampant. It's running rampant through this state. You better be, <laughs> you better be in uh, some kind of antiseptic bottle or something, I know. man. I know. Whoa. Uh, more congratulations. Uh, we roll on, if you believe it. Uh, the, Chesar, the treasure chest, treasure, treasure chest, mm-hmm. uh, full of gold, jewelry, and other valuables worth between $1 and $5 million, finally found in the oh, Rocky Mountains. Oh, yeah. You can stop searching. Uh, Ten years ago, remember, uh, author yeah. Forrest Fenn announced that he had hidden the chest. 
somewhere in the Rocky Mountains, and he inspired. I mean, there were tens of thousands of people yeah. looking for that. Five thing. people died yeah. over ten years trying to find it. I mean, it had uh, rare gold oh, wow. coins, gold nuggets, pre-Columbian animal figures, prehistoric mirrors of hammered gold, ancient Chinese faces carved from jade, antique jewelry. He said that the chest weighed twenty pounds, and Ooh. its contents were another twenty-two pounds. And how and much was it worth? Do we know? Between one and five million. One they, that's what they that's like, what they that's what they said well, now if you hmm. believe that someone actually found it because he said this past weekend that uh a person who claimed the treasure it's over uh it's done but uh, of course the person wanted to remain anonymous uh-huh mm. a person back east uh-huh uh found the chest how, well you how, would want to remain so, anonymous though you would want to okay well right? that's true but you don't, want to don't bog time. me down with facts yeah, yeah. if don't you're if you're this guy who hid the treasure and you right. have five people dying looking for it you're like uh uh search is over someone found it sorry thanks mm-hmm. yeah and he said you know i mean he the poem that he wrote Mm-hmm. I mean, it was riveting. You can go back and I, the, I read the entire the, the poem on the, chewing the fat on Monday. I mean, if, if it was clues, beautiful, it's beautiful. And if you read the poem, the first time I read it uh, was uh, uh, on Monday, and I thought, oh, of course, of course, I know where it is now. Oh, you read the poem with snap. the other. I you know, should have done that. I know. What would you have liked in the ideal uh, treasure chest for Jeffy? Like, what what would you have liked to have found in well, there? Whatever he put in there is fine. That's no, fine. You can mm-hmm. get. You can purchase whatever I was, want. Was was the poem you read anything close to this kind of quality though? A rock, a river, uh-huh. a tree, a, a tree, hosts, hosts to species long since departed. Departed. Marked the mastodon, the mastodon, the dinosaur, the dinosaur. who left dry mm-hmm. tokens of their sojourn here Does that mean on poop? our planet. Right. Talking about dry yeah, poop. poop. Yeah. Dried up poop. Any broad alarm yeah. of their hastening doom hastening. is lost That's in the hastening. gloom you don't really the of tea, dust yeah. and ages. Okay. So, was it was it anywhere near that quality? Well, did my I Angelou know. hide I, hide a treasure? I yeah, know it sounded like it because I was looking at. I she did you, in some dino, it, it, dried up dinosaur. Two yeah. lines, two lines from uh, Fenn's poem that's almost similar, uh, where he said, uh, "There'll be no paddle up your creek, mm. just heavy loads of water high." So wow, that is beautiful. I mean, oh, and come similar. on now. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's almost. And you cracked the code just the like two thing. minutes too late. <laughs> almost the same thing. Mm-hmm. Proof that uh, you need to start your kids young. Uh, find a sport and get them moving. From the from Forbes, uh, the world's highest paid athletes, uh, the average of the top 100 is 30 years of age, down from 31. Mm. And a few of what they call old timers creaked on the list once again. Phil Mickelson, who turns 50 this month, is uh, wow. the oldest, followed by 44-year-old Tiger Woods and a pair of uh, NFL quarterbacks, uh, Tom Brady, and Drew Beery's. And I'm guessing that next year, Drew may not be on that list. <laughs> just a just a thought. I don't know what made me what would make me think of that. And the NBA rookie sensation uh, Zion Williamson, uh, yes. only teenager in the top 100. He's 19. He'll yeah. be 20 in July. Um, phew, the two top highest pay- players are uh, tennis players: Roger Federer, Federer. and uh, no- Naomi Osaka. Yeah. Is uh, Federer over 100 million? Uh, I. I'm sure he is. I oh, don't yeah. know what the okay, list you don't was. Have the I don't have the, the amount. Yeah, right. Sorry. Okay, that would have been kind of an interesting little side note. To yes, the story, uh, 131. Okay. Two million dollars. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. If that were know. true, it'd be interesting to know. I mean, I, but you don't have those numbers, so. 18. Never mind. He's on the top no, of the list. Fine. What does it matter? I just, I, I'd like to know how much money he made. That's all. There's a thing in, in America <laughs> that we have, and it's actually global. It's called Google. Oh, all right. Well, and you can look it up. Hey, okay. <laughs> boys, boys, a little housekeeping here. Uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller album sold, uh, it was number one selling album for 37 weeks, selling an average of a million copies per week during that time. Yeah, so a million, fi- million a week. So 53,000 yeah. that Lady Gaga it's has a little lower. is a little, a little lower. lower. <laughs> a little, little lower. <laughs> Just one twentieth of uh, what the, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable what's it happened sure in the music industry. Sure really, is. the only way you're making a lot of money is on your concert tour. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. By the way, uh, Roger Federer, uh, 2019, 93 million, 93 million. Oh, my 131 million point five must be. It was off. I yeah, must have read bit, that wrong. A little off. Metric. <laughs> no. Yeah. But he has made 130 million in prize money in his career 
Thank you. So that's mm. you're somewhat close. That's close. That's what I was thinking of. I must have. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> Carry the one. Got it mixed up. <laughs> Under the heading of dumb things, mm-hmm. uh, Grigor Loop, a Romanian cobbler, shoemaker, uh, <laughs> noticed uh, people were not respecting social distancing rules, and he said he so? went to the market to buy seedlings for his garden and there weren't many people there but they kept getting closer and closer so uh, Grigor has been making leather shoes for 39 years and he came up with the idea of the long nosed leather shoe to help keep people apart they come in a European size 75. <laughs> My friend, uh, you need so if, a life. If two people were uh, facing each other, what? there'd be almost a one and a half meters between them. So we don't really know how far right. apart. Could be 80 they, miles. Yeah, could wow. be. You don't, could you be just don't know. How can you have a conversation you at that can, distance? Uh, you can get a pair for 115 bucks. So uh, call them what you want. Look uh, ridiculous. They're just really clown how shoes. How would you walk? They are clown they're shoes. They're just clown shoes. I mean, Ronald McDonald had his shoes on from, you know, what, 63, 62 with wearing his other. Uh, the Ronald McDonald shoes. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they're almost the same thing. Well, congratulations, same this thing. guy. He's the cobbler for the clown industry now. Yes. That's it. Yes, he is. Oh, and uh, just a quick reminder that uh, Uber Eats announced it will promote uh, black-owned businesses on its app and waive delivery fees at those spots for the remainder of the year. Is that even legal? And that's great. Yeah. It's- but if you read between the lines, uh, and, you know, that's what I do. I mean, aren't you discriminating fat, against other races? Uh well, yes. Yeah. And by the way, if you like food from a business that's not a black owned business and mm-hmm. order it from Uber Eats, you're a racist. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're a racist. I mean, I, I, hope, I, hope, saying, I, hope, obviously. I hope Uber obviously. Eats calls you out. Uh, too. Well, mm-hmm. do you recall? This is uh, kind uh, of. Maybe, the, and if you don't even. And then if you decide, well, I'm not going to use Uber Eats, you're uh, a racist. Right. That's true. This is kind of the I'm argument saying. that almost kept Rand Paul out of the Senate when mm-hmm. he was saying that a private business should be able to discriminate if they want to. He said it's not right. right. You shouldn't well, yeah. go to those businesses. You can't say that. Right. And so, well, that. that's, that's, that's old what school doing. America, right? There's no way you let mm-hmm. that happen anymore. No. You just don't. Yep. The no shoes, no shirt, no service. No, sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, that doesn't happen. And uh, What are you saying? Hillbillies can't come in? Right. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's okay because hillbillies usually just white trash people. Um, they're barely people. You know but, yeah, I mean? yeah, okay. So, so you can you can discriminate against hillbillies that. and rednecks. You can still discriminate. Yes, against. oh, big time, especially rednecks. Yeah, yeah. you can beat them if you want in the streets. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, yes, you yeah, can. It's completely that, legal to beat. That's a almost true. It is. That's almost true. <laughs> it really is. And I'll tell you what's going to happen. You know, you're talking about wanting new. Uh, you know what the what the new vision mm-hmm. of the the no police zones look like. Mm-hmm. The new vision is going to be warlords. I'm telling you, it's going to be Afghanistan, man. It's going to be you're, they're going to be cities that are no go zones unless you have the go ahead from you, the warlord. Have you seen the list of all the cities that an elected official has has been pushing for no police? It's a it's huge list incredible. now. It's like thirty t- cities, and including Baltimore. Have yeah, fun. Baltimore doesn't need police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry have about fun. that. You don't need have a police fun. officer I there. Know. Oh, we got this under control. My and gosh. I'd like to talk uh, about one of my favorite persons on the planet right now, uh, Mayor Lori Lightfoot of Chicago. <laughs> Isn't she one wonderful? Of my favorite She's wonderful. I'd like to take a walk down uh, yeah. memory lane before I bring you some new audio from Mayor. Uh, remember her message to uh, President Trump. Mm. I will code what I really want to say oh. to Donald Trump. Code. It's two words. Mm-hmm. It begins with F. And it ends with you. Ooh, I love her. Burn. Her excuse for going against her own rules that she likes to call laws. I'm out in the public eye, and you know I'm a I'm I'm a person who I take my personal hygiene very seriously. As I said, I <laughs> felt like I needed to um, mm-hmm. have a haircut. I'm not able to do that myself, and so I got a haircut. Yeah, other people though. You, no, you don't take your hygiene no. seriously, mm-hmm. and you feel, you can do it yourself. Uh, well, and her right? message to people who dared to come out and gather or party during the stay-at-home order. Oh yeah. Now I've directed Superintendent Brown to order all police b- districts to, to b- give d- special d- attention <laughs> to these parties, <laughs> and this is how it's going to be. Okay. We will shut you down. Good. We will cite you. And if we need to, we will arrest you, and we will take you to jail. Boom. Period. See, period. Yeah. So yeah. don't you go out of your house. There should be nothing unambiguous about that. Not yeah. one thing. No. Don't make us <laughs> treat you don't make like us. a criminal. Don't but make us do it. if you act like a criminal yeah. and you violate the law well, and you except refuse for looting. to do what yeah, is necessary yeah, to mm-hmm. save lives in the city in mm-hmm. the middle of a pandemic, we will take you and to take jail. And take a shower, too. Period.
Mm. Now we have audio now. from a conference call <laughs> with all 51 aldermen uh, on May 31st, 10, 11 days ago. Uh, interesting to hear this and know what has transpired since. Mm. Uh, the interaction between the mayor and the alderman, uh, Raymond Lopez, from the 15th Ward is, oh, I mean, it's incredible. Pretty sure they don't like each other much to begin with. But he's asking on this conference call to come up with a better plan than what's being proposed uh, you know, 10, 11 days ago mm-hmm. after the first round of uh, protests in Chicago. Right now, Mayor Back in the Yard has, in Brighton Park from Halstead almost all the way through to Kedzie <clears throat> along 47th Street has been a virtual war zone. Ashland Avenue, which borders between me and Alderman Taylor, has had 400 people in four lanes of traffic almost for Listen an hour. And we can't expect our police, and I don't fault them at all, to be able to control this. But I know that we asked our faith base yesterday to stand at the front line between police and looters and rioters. And I am simply not comfortable telling my churches, those people, no kidding. to be the intermediary in the middle of a riot that's citywide. We need something better because right now we only have. 370 whatever National Guards on standby, half our neighborhoods are already obliterated. It's Look too late. That. We should stop it there and then, uh, with- and then listen to her response coming up because uh, we're almost out of time for this okay. segment. Well, I mean, her response That's is, unbelievable. is uh, amazing. But <laughs> yeah. that that alone yeah. is yeah. incredible what happened in Chicago. Yes. Right? I, I mean, yes. 13 days ago. And, you know, they're condoning the looting. After, right. After all she's saying about people leaving their house. Right. Just leaving their house. Mm. Want to go to the store. Want to go to work. Whatever. Uh, you are a terrible person. Yeah. You're acting like a criminal. We'll arrest you. We'll put you in jail. Then the looters. Ah. Yeah, we'll treat you like a criminal unless you're actually a criminal. A, a criminal. Yeah. And I've got some other stats from Chicago, too. The <sighs> oh, the death rate it lately has been outrageous. Really unbelievable. All right. 888 Making that apocalypse fun. <laughs> More of it on the way. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three and at Pat Unleashed on Twitter, where uh, we do have some tweets here from uh, JF May. We were asking, what would you do if you were surrounded like that mm-hmm. by a bunch of protesters? And they surround you in your car and tell you you're not going anywhere. You're you not going go nowhere. You can't stop. Well, let's see. If I'm not going nowhere. I must be going somewhere. Yeah, I am. So let me let me hit the gas. See if you guys move. Yeah, I mean you have to you have to try to attempt to go through them slowly. Yeah, slowly, and, slowly. And, and there then, are those who say well, I just speed through them. Well, no, you yeah, can't do that. You, you can't do that. You can legally, only do that if you're, you if, you're if you're if you, if you feel threatened. If you start Somebody becoming has a gun or, surrounded, you yeah. yeah, or they're breaking out your windows. Right. Then yeah, you gotta I'm stepping go. on you the gotta gas. Get out of there. Uh, but what would you do? Can't answer on the grounds it may incriminate me. According to JFA. Uh, from Neo, am I allowed to say on Twitter? I don't want to get canceled or anything. Right? No doubt. From Amy, what's her face? Uh, what would you do? I believe it's pronounced vroom vroom. <laughs> Kara 3022, speed bump. <laughs> Seems to be the consensus here, doesn't it? Uh, tea Party Trucking, uh, what would you do? Shout, Jesus loves you. Move or you'll meet him now. <laughs> See, those are easy yes. to say, but when you're being, you know, when you're yeah. sitting there, yeah, I mean, it's and a, it's a scary time uh, in front yeah. of you. But these actual people are threatening you. You got to move. You have to get out of yeah, there. I you think have so. to get out. Your safety and your family's safety comes first. And again, I would love to know the law enforcement uh, take on this. I, I'd love to know the legality on it. If somebody's surrounding your car, they're in the middle of the street, you've got a green light, there's no business for them to be there. They've got no business being there. Can you drive through them? Legally, without being charged with anything. Mm. I don't know. Uh, Scintillating Duck. Didn't Kevin Costner do a mediocre movie about World Ocean Day? (laughs) (laughs) That movie's better than you think. I was just going to say, mediocre is giving it too much credit. I don't know. That movie is better than you think. Nah, I don't know about that. I like Kevin. Bovine scatology um, <clears throat> with those new clown shoes, fellas. Here's a hot tip. Invest in Kiwi shoe polish. <laughs> yeah. No oh, yeah, because right? you get a lot of shoe to polish. COVID bullet 23. <laughs> Fear, 
How Lightfoot takes citizens to jail if there are no police officers to do so? That's a good uh-huh. question. That's a good question. Speaking of <laughs> Mayor Lightfoot, by the way, is she related to Gordon? Gordon Lightfoot? And uh, is that her? I hope not, because I like Gordon. No, oh, I like Gordon. T- one of the worst artists of what? all time. What? The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, one of the most classic worst. songs ever. One of the worst songs of all time. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. It's easy to get you go, me. What? What are you talking Lake about? Lake Superior. Listen, I was raised in the Great Lakes State. It's I was like raised Bob in Dylan. the Great Lakes State. It's <laughs> Lake Superior, they say, never gives up her dead, Pat. <laughs> when the winds of Northern come early, okay? So bad. What a terrible song. <laughs> That's a fantastic song. That used to play as I was getting ready for school every day. <laughs> Hated it then. I hate it now. See, you, but see, that's because you equate it with going to school. Maybe if you just listen no, to it now. I equate it with a really bad, <laughs> monotone voice song. That's what I equate it with. Uh, anyway, Mayor Lightfoot was talking to one of the aldermen, oh, yeah. and they were having a little Lopez, disagreement. Yeah. And Lopez was asking, you know, hey, what the heck? Uh, I want, yeah. you know, what's going on with my neighborhood? He doesn't want to ask the church leaders to go to the front lines. We need a better plan. Here. Right. Okay. So here's the conversation. 370 whatever National Guards on standby, half our neighborhoods are already obliterated. It's too late. We have to come up with a better plan because once, my fear is, once they're done looting and rioting and whatever's going to happen tonight, God help us, what happens when they start going after residents? Going into the neighborhoods. Once they start trying Thank to you. break down people's doors who so they think they got mm-hmm. something, or, you know, we know that people are here to antagonize and incite, and you've got them all pumped tonight, today, they're not going to go to bed at 8 o'clock. They're going to turn their focus <laughs> mm-hmm. in the neighborhood. I've got gangbangers with AK-47s walking around right now just waiting to settle some scores. Mm. What are we going to do, and what do we tell our residents other than good faith people stand up? It's not going to be enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mayor, Mayor. Thank you, Alderman. <laughs> Let's move on. Next well, question. No, I Next want question. An he wants an answer. I bet you commented on everybody. I want an answer. It's not something you ignore. This is a Alderman, question that I have. I think you're 100 percent full of what I think. Oh. If you think well, we no want offense, to, f- f- you then. Hold on. Who are you to tell me I'm full of? And if you think, if you think Everybody. we were not ready and we stood by. Go up. There's nothing intelligent that I can say to you. Well, maybe you should come out of what's going on. Yeah. Her helper steps in. Wait a minute. Wow. My neighborhood. She's hideous. Yeah. Wow. Right. I mean, for, for her to just completely dismiss everything he said. And on that day, May 31st, <clears throat> the day of this call, mm-hmm. 18 people murdered in Chicago, one of the deadliest days in the city since 1961. My. On that very day. Gosh. Now and then last wow. uh, then Monday a couple days ago she said that well it appears looting and vandalism has slowed down in recent days uh, had a very quiet weekend when it came to looting and robbery oh, and arson goodness. Chicago you must be so proud they couldn't care less about the people being shot dead every single day and almost all of them I mean, are black almost all of them and remember that T- tell me black lives matter when you don't give a rat's ass about the the deaths of black people every day and the destruction of the property yeah uh, you know I mean, that's what black he was saying it's already destroyed. happening right come out down from your ivory tower mayor yeah right wow that is really and when you when you've got this attitude those from these progressives and uh anytime you talk about reality they shut you down as a racist right what are you supposed to do how are we supposed to get through this? Right. Now, she they did come up with a security <clears throat> firm that they hired, a private security firm, to add to the help that were unarmed, 
uh, in Chicago. <laughs> so they spent a little over a million bucks on uh, crossing guards to stand around in front of businesses that most of some of them already destroyed to say, hey, keep moving. You guys keep going on. Wow. Amazing. Just really incredible. Amazing. By the way, speaking of protests and crowds and uh, getting out of control, did you see the uh, the protest in Los Angeles in Hollywood that was so massive? Wow. We have the video of that. I mean, this is look at this. Look at look at, look at how many people Pat, you, are there. You sent this yesterday, uh-huh. and I thought, oh, he's going to have fun talking about CGI because that's what this looks like. <laughs> it does because it like it's so packed and unbelievable, jam packed with. I don't know. Uh, that's 50, 100,000 people. I don't know. I mean, that's maybe. a lot. Man. Maybe, yeah. On one street. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. What, what am I resisting? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that crowd. Look at that. So this wow. turns into a rap video. So one of the rappers turned it into uh, F the Police, a, a new rap song he's got. Oh, that good. He's super beautiful. proud of. Good. And look at that crowd. All jammed together. No social distancing, absolutely uh, no effort on the part of COVID nineteen to keep anybody safe. Well, it's over, right? What? I, I guess so. <laughs> I guess. But what were they saying about the yeah. the protests of you know we can't stay hold up in our houses forever? Let us well, go out. Let's go to our open our businesses. And here's what the leftists and the news people, the leftist news people, said uh, about those protests. And then what they're saying now. A far now. more serious scene. Uh, watch these images. Really just an ugly, a dangerous scene at the state capitol oh in Michigan. Yeah, that's As ugly and dangerous. This extreme group of people. Extreme. Those pictures and those clashes really mm-hmm. show um, the, the chaos. And you're out chaos. there with, they, with, they uh, do? with guns. I don't want to call them rallies. They're not protests. These quote unquote protests. Call I, I don't even think that that's the right word uh, because protests are supposed to be peaceful. Oh. I'm not embarrassed to say that I was afraid. It's not clear what they're oh, demanding. Shit. Demanding to infect other people, demanding to make other people sick. It's yeah, dangerous. They're, they're These people can that. take this no. home with them and hurt their families and all the rest. I'd like mm. to ask them if they're willing to sign away their right to treatment if and when they get infected. Who the hell do you think you are? I don't understand what is wrong with people. <laughs> Stay at home. <laughs> One month later, wow. I, I, I want to be clear in how now, I characterize pause this. Pause this for a second. Okay. As he is, I forget this guy's name uh, from MSNBC. As he is speaking, a fire is raging behind him that the protesters have just set. Oh, that's a controlled burn. That the rioters have just yeah. said. Okay, so the place is burning now. Here's what he says. Protest. Tom uh, it is not. Uh, it is not generally speaking unruly. <laughs> right, right. What we're seeing right now in Minneapolis. Excuse me. Any reasonable person would uh-huh. say we shouldn't be destroying other people's property, but these are not but, reasonable but. times. And yeah. Please, okay. So it's okay. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. <laughs> the beautiful thing that is we're seeing amazing. citizens who are amazing. caring and concerned. They're hitting amazing. the streets. Heartwarming to see so many people now it's turn out peacefully. <laughs> you know, Brooke. I think this is a march, really. Uh-huh. But as they're coming off, it's a march. It's, it's sickening, peaceful. is what they're it's not a riot. Peaceful protest. It's coming off as peaceful. Across the country, right. uh, they're, uh, it's bringing people together, I, community yeah. Yeah, with is. unity. People are risking COVID right. to explain yeah. uh-huh. to this country that we're fed up. Uh, it, it, that's one of the most that's... unbelievable things I've ever seen. I uh, that makes me so angry. I, I cannot know. tell you. I that know. Sickening. And, you know, weren't we told that blacks are much more susceptible to the virus? Yes, we were. But all everything that we've been told gets changed day to day anyway. Yeah, it does. Uh, but we were definitely told that. We and, were told. and we're still that they were the high-risk communities. Yeah, and now they're encouraging blacks especially to get out and express themselves. Get together by the hundreds of thousands yeah. in Los Angeles and Hollywood if you want to. Because it's great. It's heartwarming. It's unity now. And... And if we encouraged getting back to work, it was like a death sentence <laughs> yeah. to minorities. You want people to die? Yeah. We were hating <laughs> hate mongers who hate yeah. for even suggesting such oh, a thing. Oh, yeah. Remember you had the yeah. lawyer guy down in Florida who showed up as the Grim Reaper yeah. at the beach right. there. And right. now he's on social media saying, come out to the Black Lives Matter rally. 
And remember, he ordered a bunch of um, body bags. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, and you please help donate uh, for these body bags. Now he's probably got a surplus that'll sell on eBay. But there he is. Now he's over at a rally after mocking people on the beach. Yeah. Now it's the greatest thing ever. Uh, now now these rallies are fantastic. In fact, go back to the the one in Hollywood. Uh, that yeah. is, This is the most people I think I've ever seen at a rally yeah. in Los Angeles that I can ever think of. Look at this. I mean, it stretches on for at least a mile, maybe two. And it's jam-packed across the entirety <laughs> of this boulevard here. I don't... I, <laughs> I mean, that is unbelievable. Sure is. Wow. And that's all fine. Yeah, that's cool. And wow. then, by the way, Fauci says, ah, it's not even close to being over. It's not even close. Well, then what are we doing telling people it's okay to be jammed together like that? And they've already walked back, right? Uh, well, yesterday. Yesterday or the day before, they said that uh, the asymptomatic people don't spread it. Or it's rare and, and that they, they spread it. And they walked it right back. And they walked that right back the oh. next morning. Yeah. They, oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. no, they do spread it. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, but and now they're trying to explain that off as no, we were talking about pre-symptomatic as opposed to asymptomatic. You're too dumb to understand what we meant. Yeah, I, I am. <laughs> I'm way too stupid. I'm too stupid to understand why a month ago it was the worst thing you could possibly do to gather together, <laughs> and now it's perfectly fine. It's great. <laughs> right. In fact, please do wow. it. Wow. So black lives don't matter to you. Wow, they don't. No. Obviously, look yeah. at that. Obviously. Black lives, white lives. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mention uh, white lives because white lives don't matter until black lives matter. That's right. Correct. No lives matter until black lives matter. Well, black lives are part of all lives. And if you disagree, okay? I'm so, going to stand in front of your vehicle. <laughs> and beat on your hood. And beat on your hood. Mm -hmm. And call you a Karen. And I might take a tire iron and bash out your windows. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in on that <laughs> yeah. particular protest day. If I'm, in, yeah, if, if I'm in a good mood. And if I'm in a really good mood, I'll drag you out of your car and stomp on your face. Uh, but don't worry about that. That's a good mood day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noted. <laughs> Otherwise, I shoot you in the head. Uh, if I'm in a bad mood, I'm shooting you in the head. I see. So, but what? usually I don't have, I don't have a gun. So I'd probably just take this tire iron and bury it in your skull. <laughs> uh, how's that? You like that? Uh, you like that, Karen? I'll just sit here at this red light and let you do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they expect. That's what they expect. And if you step on the gas, you're the worst person yeah, in the yes. world. How dare you? Why are you such a hater? If they act like, oh, the humanity. Look at, they just drove through a crowd of people. Yeah, that surrounded my car. <laughs> Thank you. I wouldn't have driven through a crowd of people if a crowd of people hadn't gathered in front of me. Uh, I can't take it. <laughs> can't take it. All right, let me tell you about Patriot Mobile. This will make you feel better. Uh, Patriot Mobile is putting together some great customized family plans that start at just $25 a month right now. Patriot Mobile is the cell phone company that shares your values. They, they won't charge you a hidden fee. And uh, unlike the big mobile companies, you know, Sprint, AT&T, Verizon, they're all supporting these left-wing causes. Uh, if you want to do that, you just keep... I guess you just keep going with the big cell phone companies. Otherwise, switch to Patriot Mobile. You'll get the same reliable nationwide service, and you'll be supporting a company that shares your values and supports our Constitution. And right now, when you join the family of freedom-loving Americans, you'll get free activation and a free gift when you use the offer code PAT. Call 972-PATRIOT. That's 972-PATRIOT. Or visit PatriotMobile.com slash PAT. Uh, for a customized family plan starting at 25 bucks a month. 972-PATRIOT or patriotmobile.com slash pat. Can you believe that there are still cities with police departments? Wow. <laughs> I, mean, wow. He's still, I don't know. I mean, what does it take? That is so you last know? week. Am I right? It, yes. Uh, yes. You're right. <laughs> yes. So last week. I mean, please shut down your police department. So nobody's there when someone's breaking into your home to come help. Nobody's there. You're on your own, and then well, if uh, you paid the warlord to protect your neighborhood, yeah, you'd be right. all right, right? You'd be all right, no mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I mean, it's 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 amazing it's what's happening. Madness. And if if I worked for nine one one, I'd be concerned that my job is gone because without police, who? Why, Mike? Why is there a nine one one? Yeah, I say remove the police, fire department, EMTs. Let them be on their own. All of them. Good luck. Drive safely. Because nobody's going to be there if you're getting into an accident. All right. Nobody's taking you to the hospital. It's just, I mean, it's so ridiculous. I uh, got some tweets here. Republic Mike tweets. 
I'm a cop in New Jersey, and a person is allowed to use force in self-protection when the actor reasonably believes that the force used is immediately necessary to protect himself against unlawful force by another person. But first, you have a duty to retreat. Right. Okay, but if I'm in my... Okay, that's probably true in New Jersey. I don't believe that's true in Texas. In Texas, you have a right to defend yourself, period. Yeah. Especially if you're at home. If you're if you're at home or in your yard or anywhere on your property, and especially if it's at night, you can do pretty much whatever you need to do uh, to whoever is there. Yeah, and I mean, you're not going to be prosecuted for yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, the old school thinking was that, you know, if someone were in your yard and you shoot them, drag them in the house. Yeah. Right. Before right. <laughs> no, right. they was in my house. <laughs> right. But it, now. But in Texas, you don't yeah, have to do no, that. You don't have to worry about it. You yeah. Can, you can let them lay in the yard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't have been there. Right, but if you were in a crowd like that, and we, you know, we've talked about the slow roll through the crowd, or unless you know you feel your life or family member is in danger, to you know accelerate to get out of there and mm-hmm. run over and actually do speed bump a human. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would always, my thought would be that if I had to do that, I would as soon as I felt safe, I would go to the closest police department. If they still have a if police there department, was a, yeah, and if the police haven't vacated that precinct house yeah. uh, and allowed it to be burned down by riot, so maybe you have to go three or so four cities over. Maybe you have yeah, to go three or might. four cities over that still has a police department <laughs> and say to them, "Hey, hey, three I or just four cities back, somebody, because uh, yeah. I felt endangered." Yeah. So, and I think you better take out your cell phone and start recording yeah, it to put prove. A, I put a camera, put so, a dash cam yeah, up, man. You can't you rely on it. their footage. You right. got to have your own. Need a dash cam. Yabba Dabba Do Gabby 33 <laughs> tweets, I haven't heard any comments from insurance companies that are paying claims on damages. What gives? That's a really good point. Mm. Yeah, that's a really, when, when nobody's trying to protect it and they're just allowing things to be looted and, well, and yeah, destroyed. Yeah, who's responsible? Right. Wow. Financially. That's, I mean, that's a, that's a big number too. Uh, B. DeBodine, I think Jeffy is onto something. He needs to re record the Edmund Fitzgerald, William Shatner style, <laughs> where he talks the lyrics. <laughs> I predict it would sell 154,000 copies. Wow. That, yeah, I, I'd that's be, a lot. That's more than Gaga. Yeah. <laughs> more than the first week of Gaga. Uh, thank that's you. true. <laughs> that's not bad. Uh, all right. Also, uh, people are helping themselves to just tearing down uh, property. Which is great. The statue of Christopher Columbus was toppled. Yeah. And just thrown in a lake in Richmond because we all know that Christopher Columbus. I'm surprised it stayed uh, up this They're long. taking down, I mean, any, yeah. any statues yeah. at all. I mean, Tarrant County just voted yesterday to take down their uh, statues in front of the courthouse in their Tarrant of County who? building. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a, about from, they put it up in 1953. Mm-hmm. And so they kind of felt like it was uh, put up to say uh, the whites are in charge. That's what, that's the excuse what? they're saying. What? No, but because it's a civil, it's a civil war statue thing going on. <clears throat> so I, I mean, do any, now, I, of course the answer is, well, yes, of course, you know, many black people do, but I don't know that I believe it. If you see a statue from, the ages of even if you say okay it was put up in 1953 and it was a reminder mm-hmm. we're in charge right yeah do you think that today no no way no no but We've, that no doesn't way. matter now, now you're trying to inject some logic into it and okay. that cannot enter into okay. this sorry at all sorry. okay i'm a little surprised we've got a couple of problematic names in this area like white settlement <laughs> I know. How is that still there? I know. I mean, they're talking about they're talking about military. I know military complex at Fort Bragg. We yeah. got to take yeah. that name. I've been Fort right. Bragg. Stop it. Petraeus said Stop that. It. What Plus, doing? we have a a White's Chapel. Uh, oh yeah, that's got to go. I don't I mean, even I'll like, bet you soon. I'll tell you what. I haven't, have I haven't turned down that road in a long time, and I'll tell you that's why. Me too. That's yeah, right. but it's White Chapel, it right? Like it's it. White Chapel. In one part it says White, white Chapel, and in another it says White yeah. oh, Chapel. No. And the church yeah. is White. That's got to go. Yeah. So oh, that has to go. Good stuff. <laughs> and of course, it's a White Chapel that they're talking yeah. about. Uh-huh. Thank right. you. The chapel happens to be painted white. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Getting a new paint job. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But this uh, Christopher Columbus statue torn down, thrown a lake uh, over the protest of racial oppression. Uh, of course. Yeah, of course. I mean, ay, ay, ay. the sculpture was brought down less than two hours after protesters in Virginia's capital gathered in the city's bird park and chanted for the statue to go. And then it did. Yeah, wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, wait. What park? 
Um, Bird Park? Yeah. Oh, my. Oh. oh. That didn't even hit me. Hold on a second. Who's this? KKK's Bird Park. I'm getting there. Park. I bet it is. You uh, know that's Robert I bet Bird. It is. Yeah, yep. it's spelled the same. B-Y-R-D. William, no? William Bird Park. Oh, okay. No, that's Robert. Uh, I should have just left lie. it that, alone. That story's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> right, because it's Virginia instead of West Virginia. Yeah. So. so. All right. Yeah, let's just thing. pretend. Darn it. That we would have been on to something there. <laughs> 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 that would have been great yeah, irony, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> No, sorry, let's sorry just roll with it. it. Let's yeah, just yeah, yeah, roll with it. That story's Let wrong. Just say. It doesn't matter. Yeah, just change it. This is Cesar Chavez. Yeah. Hey, and welcome. <laughs> Great to have you with us. <laughs> talking about roads. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. And at Pat Unleashed on Twitter, where Putin on a Ritz tweets, uh oh. Pat just jumped right past Rat's anus, straight to Rat's ass. It's worse than I thought. That's a fact. <laughs> that is That's a, a fact. fact. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's bad. <laughs> it's rat ass bad. I'm not proud of it, but sometimes it happens. It seems like you are, though. I'm right? not. I'm not proud of it. That's. Yeah. It's not. It's not good. Oh. <clears throat> uh, Lone Wolf tweets. Scientists. And I wonder if. Did you mean scientists? Because I like that word. That's a good word. I like oh. that. It's like a cross between a scientist and a beautician. It's almost like if oh. you start using it right now, Pat, it's your word. I know, uh, right? I thought it was, I thought <laughs> right? it was maybe mathematicians. Because no? I like it. I don't know. Huh. Uh, scientists have discovered <laughs> that COVID-19 is the first woke virus and won't infect people in groups if they're, in, if they're protesting for woke causes. There you go. Well, there right. you go. Right. That's why the protests before were wrong right. and these are right okay smart virus uh, uh joe biden's forgotten burner i'm here for the trademarked pat scream <laughs> <laughs> and i think you got that today, oh right? you got and it they, yeah there yeah. was a scream yes. yeah he's got that primal scream and uh it's probably going to be another one before the end of the show <laughs> <laughs> it's very possible first of all let me play this guy this guy's awesome we go? uh, and we've got so few awesome things uh to share but this guy with the police union, the New York City police union boss, he's fed up. And you can tell he's fed up. And so are the guys behind him. And good for them for speaking out like this. This isn't stained by someone in Minneapolis. It's still got a shine on it. And so do theirs. Has his badge So up. do theirs. Stop treating us like animals and thugs. And start treating us with some respect. Mm -hmm. That's what we're here today to say. We've been left out of the conversation. Yeah. We've been vilified. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Trying to make us embarrassed of our profession. 375 million interactions. Overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly positive. Nobody talks mm. about all the police officers that were killed in the last week in the United States of America. And there were a number of them. We did. Yeah, there were quite a yes. few. Mm -hmm. We don't condone Minneapolis. We roundly reject what he did as disgusting. It's disgusting. It's not what we do. We have to do this. It's not what police right officers do. Our legislators abandoned us. The press mm -hmm. is vilifying us. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what, guys? I'm proud to be a cop. And I'm going to continue to be proud to be a cop. Until the day I retire. And that's all I have to say. Amen. Put, put that guy in jail. I mean, I mean yes. He? I mean, yes. Did how, I say amen? Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you stick up for police? How dare you? <laughs> that was good stuff. That was really good. Was seriously and good needed. stuff. needed. Yeah. Uh, it's really pathetic what's going on. You would think, and that's an interesting point. 375 million interactions with the public. Yeah, I mean, what? You're going to get some bad interactions. Yes. Or there's going to be some bad outcomes. These guys are life and death every day. And this may come as a surprise, uh -huh. but a lot of those bad outcomes aren't the police's fault. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. To me, clearly George Floyd was. Uh, I really think he, he, he was murdered. Eric Garner was murdered. We've seen. And, and when, when it happens, and it's right in front of our face, we say it. And we act and on we, it. And we act on it. We call them out. 
You know, you wanted justice for George? He's receiving it. So stop with the ro- the looting and the rioting. He's getting justice. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know what more they can do. They fired the guys immediately. They charged him within days. Uh, he's been charged with murder. The Chauvin guy has been charged with murder. The, his uh, three other cops were charged as accomplices. Okay. Okay. Uh, this The wheels of justice are turning. Do we have an outcome yet? No, but we will. I mean, it's it's frustrating because what you, it, that's not that's not the thing now. No, now we have not. to defund cops. Then we have to dismantle cops, police okay. departments. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. By the way, Kara thirty twenty two has done some research for us, and it looks like William Byrd, <clears throat> who that park was named after mm-hmm. um, in Virginia, um, he was a slave owner. Oh my god! And and here's a quote about him from PBS. In oh, Bird's man. view, African Americans were property, <laughs> and he treated his slaves as such. So <laughs> okay. it's time to uh, change the name of that park as well. Obviously, good heavens! Obviously. Get, get on that. Wow. Get on that, Virginia. How many of us go to Bird Park and think of that? Well, I don't often attend uh, festivities at Bird Park. Mm. If you were to attend mm-hmm. a festive, a well, now, festive occasion, now I would think Bird of it. Park. I would think I'm not stepping foot on Bird Park. Well, now you would because beforehand you would. Park. You would go to that park and you go, "Oh mm-hmm. my gosh, when are they going to get rid of this Christopher Columbus statue? It's so yeah. impressive." Thankfully, that's <clears> gone <throat> now, right? Yeah. Thankfully, so now, it is been thrown in the lake. Concentrate on some other things. So, now. good. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we can we can concentrate on canceling, you know, like TV shows about cops and stuff. Uh, and we're doing that now. Good. Unbelievable. Paramount has decided to dump the long-running true crime yeah. reality TV series, Cops. Yeah. That's got to go because it's, it's about, well, cops. cops. And it shows, it tries to, you know, it shows, it shows a lot of those interactions. Yeah. 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 Uh, that cops have with people. Yeah. Uh, it was already pulled from the cable channel oh, after yeah. nationwide protests of police brutality and racism following the death of George Floyd on May 25th. Now the network confirms the series has been permanently canceled wow. and shelved. Good. In fact, there will be no mention of that <clears throat> show ever again. Ever again. Also, uh, Live PD. That was kind of a cool show where they went live to yeah. police departments all over the country where something was happening at the time. Canceled. Well, canceled because there's not going to be any police departments left to right. follow around. Well, they're all evil, and so uh, shut them down, defund them. Uh, you know, I, I guess now we got what? I mean, if we want to start a new show here on the Blaze, maybe we do uh, you know live uh, statue destruction, hmm. and we just hmm. go around the country hmm. and mm-hmm. we tear down statues, or pull down statues. I like it. Maybe we do that for our YouTube channel. We, uh, I like the it. three of us, maybe go out and start pulling down some statues, statues yeah. Statue in the Dallas Fort yeah. Worth area. I bet we could find some some statues that need Darn to go. Right, we could. Uh, yeah, I don't care what kind of statue it is. We're tearing it down. There's a Pegasus <laughs> statue that I had my eye on. Let's over pull here. it down. Let's down. Pull the damn thing down. Yeah, it's really those damn horses over there in Las Colinas. Pull them down. down. Mm-hmm. Pull them down. Mm-hmm. Hey, that big tall guy at the fair fairgrounds. Oh. Pull Mr. Texas or Texas what about, or whatever. He yes. Takes. Big Tex. He yeah. pulled down Big Tex. Yeah. What about this? Oh, homeboy uh, uh, on the way to Houston. What's his name? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Sam Houston. Sam Houston. I want that down. Who was not a racist. And yeah. in fact, he fought for yeah. minorities. Yeah. 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 Pull no, him down. He's got a statue. Yeah. Down. Yeah. down. Down. There's a polar he's bear. This annoying white polar bear yeah. standing out here in the hallway. Right? Glenn's not going to miss Let's that. Pull it down. Pull it down. Is that pull a statue? Pull it down. No, but it's... It's white, Jeffy. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Gee, man. That's All where right. we're at. I mean, that's as ridiculous as the society is. By the way, uh, apparently, um, they've also... HBO has now taken off Gone with the Wind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they well, pulled HB- that from their... HBO yeah, Max, yeah. yeah. What was the thinking behind that? It's about, it the, South. Yeah, about the, the South. It's about the South. It's about slaves. <laughs> They were, you know, they were still slaves. Yes, I know. You can't do it. Oh, you can't do it. Man. Oh man. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And Hattie, Hattie McDaniel won. She was the first uh, African American to mm-hmm. win an Academy Award. Uh, she was proud of her role in the film. Um, we have. Uh, I'm really, especially happy that I'm chosen. Oh, okay. To present well, this particular plaque. We're gonna do the whole thing to here. To me, it seems more than. <laughs> Oh, this is the entire Academy Award? It opens the doors. Yeah, yeah, you can start, hours, you can start playing the music. <laughs> 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 I just wanted her speech. 
<laughs> which was Patty's? the last minute or so. Yeah. Right. So anyway, can we skip to it or not? I don't know. Well, How's that? Hmm. He's yeah. Dingleberries. Even the D- Dingleberries at HBO Max. They don't. Pr- they don't know that. And now Who's you can't see that? her work. They, they don't care. That she's probably. You know, now they'd probably consider she's not really black. Because hmm. she said all those things, she's not really right. blind. What, what now? Yeah, right. you can't be black if you say those no. kinds of things. Aunt Tom, right? Aunt Tom. <laughs> Thomasina. Actually, that works in 2020 on <laughs> so many levels. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's insanity, is what it is. It's insanity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love this story too because not even a goofy liberal like J.K. Rowling is safe anymore. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> I mean Mm-mm. she. She didn't toe the line on gender. I don't know. And if uh, if if she's allowed to continue out in public, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, she's going to have to be arrested and put away somewhere because I don't want to have to. Don't look give at her. them any ideas, man. She said, "If sex isn't real, then there's no same sex attraction. If sex isn't real." I think she means gender, by the way. By mm-hmm. um, the the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex or gender in this case, I believe, removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. Yeah. It isn't hate to speak the truth. <laughs> well, oh no, no the wait. humanity. So oh, she went with truth. Yeah, he can't. Mm-mm. Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, yay. Harry Potter himself? Yeah. Speaking out against her comments about gender. Um, He hopes her comments won't taint the Harry Potter series for fans. Oh, shut up, Daniel. (laughs) Oh, it already has for me, Daniel. I'm sorry. I can't abide her gender feelings on this. Hold on a second. When I watch Harry Potter now at any point in time, Uh now I'm going to think that J.K. JK Rowling Rowling thinks that men can't menstruate. Right. And I won't have (laughs) that. That pisses me off. I won't have that. You know what? She she also believes men can't have babies, and I can't abide that. I cannot abide it. HBO Max, I think, has all of it. Does HBO Max have that up? They've already canceled all Harry Potter. Well, seriously, as long as we're doing the cancel culture on everything, why haven't we pulled Harry Potter books off the shelf? Why not? Books and movies. (laughs) Yeah. Books and movies. In a statement posted on an LGBTQQIA2 plus. suicide prevention (laughs) charity website the actor said (laughs) oh no this is from daniel radcliffe okay so you know it's true oh here we go okay science science be damned this is from daniel radcliffe okay who plays a wizard right yes okay transgender women are women there you go oh well there you go any statement to the contrary erases (laughs) the identity and dignity of transgender people J.K. Rowling has been criticized for tweets taking issue with the phrase "people who menstruate." <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what a world! What, what a world! What a world! What a year! Uh, Radcliffe <laughs> said this was not about infighting, and added he felt compelled to say something because Rowling was responsible for the course his life is taking. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> what an idiot he is! He's turned out to be such a little douchebag. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a good little progressive who just uh, loves to spew the propaganda. Just keep going to your comic cons and make your money and be quiet. <laughs> if these books taught you that love is the strongest force in the universe, right? these books taught us that? Yeah. I think you're giving yourselves a little too much credit there. <laughs> you don't feel that? I don't feel that. Really? No, I don't, think, uh, I don't think that the Harry Potter series, much as I love it, and I do. I know. Is what really taught us about the strongest force in the universe, love. I don't believe it wow. was. No, it wasn't uh, Harry Potter where I learned that. I mean, that may have been between the lines. No. In the, in it didn't the teach me. Thing? It really didn't teach me much of anything. It was uh, just enjoyable. She was, yeah, just a good writer of a it fun a story. Piece, yeah. Dogmatic ideas of pureness lead to the oppression of vulnerable groups. If you believe that a particular character is trans, non-binary, or gender fluid, or that they're gay or bisexual, if you have found anything in these stories that resonated with you and helped you at any time in your life, then that's between you and the book that you read and is is sacred. I hope that these comments will not taint that too much. Wow, I do too. So when do we start burning the Harry Potter Mm. books? Got to got to begin like today, right? No sure. time like the present. Rowling had tweeted at the uh, and uh, this weekend about an article discussing quote people who menstruate yeah. unquote. I can't. I'm sure there <laughs> used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she tweeted. Yeah. Oh, come 
Come on. Can we edit that out of the podcast? Uh, because come I, don't wanna, on. I can't believe you even just said it on the air, to be honest. But. Yeah. I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. <laughs> She's not thinking women, is she? Because wow. that would be hateful. Are you trying to help her out? And I was it? trying to help her. And you're making it worse. <laughs> I made it worse. In response, she was called transphobic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rowling stood by her comments saying it isn't hate to speak the truth. Yeah, it's just science. Science. Right? <laughs> it's, that's all it is. Yeah. is uh, science. <laughs> Got to go you with, go. listen, we're supposed to believe what the scientists tell us. Yeah, the scientists. <laughs> right. 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 And 100%. the scientists used to tell us that uh, it's women who menstruate. It's women who have that's babies. That's old think. Okay. Yeah, but not now. Not now. Not now. Thank goodness. I mean, we've learned. We've evolved. Yeah. Wow. Uh, also, the new Looney, new Looney Tunes cartoons Ugh, cancel course. <coughs> have banned Elmer Fudd from having a gun. Yeah, on HBO Max, their new system. They they had talked about that, I think, even before this. Mm-hmm. You know, when they first said they were going to launch the new Looney Tunes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, I mean, it's... Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's... He's still going to have a weapon. What? Oh, we're not taking oh, the weapon It looks like away. he's got an axe, right? Is he going to be able to use an axe? Why is that any better? I don't know. I don't know. Than a gun. I have no idea they, why. They that's would better. both kill Bugs Bunny if uh, he were to strike right? him with it. Do you have to get a background <laughs> check for an axe? No, you don't. Not yet. No, you don't. But uh, the executive producer of the series said, We're not doing guns. We're not doing guns. We're not doing them. Okay, well, good. <sighs> Added the cartoons will stay true to the originals, though. Wait, well, no, I'm sorry. No, they're no, not. They, not if you're not doing guns. <laughs> they won't. the originals featured guns. <laughs> Homer Fudd was a hunter <laughs> with a gun. Hunting we will go. <laughs> yep. Uh, wow. What is he going to... Is he going to tiptoe around the forest just barehanded now? That wascally wabbit. Oh, he's going to be carrying that axe. Mm, carrying an yeah. axe. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Uh, just ridiculous. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. All right, well... Uh, we got a celebrity, a black celebrity, that hopefully people will listen to. Mm-hmm. It is uh, Terry, uh, Terry Crews. Terry Terry Cruz. Cruz. Yeah. De- defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. Huh. Equality is the truth. Like it or not, we're all in this together. Well, I would like to believe that. Yeah, I would too. And I think that we, at one point, 10, 12... 14 years ago, believe that. Mm-hmm. And then someone came along with he and his wife and family and changed that perspective a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but this is great stuff because this goes against the flow right now. It sure does. And he'll probably be beaten to uh, a pulp for saying oh, this. Well, Any black person who calls me a goon or an Uncle Tom, or Aunt Tom for promoting equality is a black supremacist because they've determined who's black and who's not. And good luck anybody good else stuff. putting Coon and Uncle Tom on their tweet. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, not a good idea. Holy cow. <laughs> well, it's just like the, you know, the uh, defensive coordinator of the godless animals. Right. Morgan Scally, who is a great defensive coordinator, by the way. They had the number two defense in the yeah. country, I believe, last year. I uh, fired for something he, he texted yeah. uh, seven years ago. I don't even know what context it was. The N-word was included there. I, You know... He might have been using it as a uh, in a friendly gesture. Yes, of course. Which I would guess. Yes. I can't imagine that he was insulting Correct. someone with it. But, of course, a white person can't use it at all. It, even though it was seven years ago, it might as well just have been today. Yeah. And look, we had the, the, the soccer player, and I know you don't care about soccer, but the soccer player did a horrific thing and lost his job in L.A. on their professional soccer team. His wife posted a couple of hateful posts. Like when, when uh, on her accounts recently, and then yeah, oh, and boy. then and and then so he got fired. <laughs> oh my! Oh my gosh! So it's unreal. It's unreal. <laughs> he after he apologized, they talked to him. He apologized for his wife's post, and then yeah, now we're you fired. Speaking of which, uh, Drew Brees, uh, according to the Babylon Bee, just set the record for. Uh, the NFL record, yeah, for a number of apologies. <laughs> <laughs> That's not enough, Drew. It will not be enough. And every sporting no, event won't. now is going to have to kneel. And I'm telling yep. you, he's yep. going to crawl out of the tunnel. Uh-huh. Uh huh. NASCAR it. has joined that. Uh, it's let's play the. Have you seen the NASCAR uh, thing that came out this week? No. Watch, watch this. This is great stuff. Oh, 
We're no strangers to moving fast. And we know how life can have that same quality. But now, but, but now, but now, but now, now it's time to slow down now. and reflect. The events of recent weeks highlighted the work we still need to do as a nation to condemn racial inequality, racial racism. inequality, the deaths of George Floyd, <laughs> Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and countless others in the black Cal community. Cal 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 heartbreaking. 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 No longer be ignored. Heartbreaking. The process begins with us listening. All right, we're starting. So, so uh, we put one together because we were so moved by NASCAR's effort there really yeah and we've we've put uh we've put together one of those oh that's nice uh liberal type ads we're no strangers to moving fast <laughs> and we know how life can have that same quality but now but now but now is the time to slow down <laughs> slow down slow down slow down and repeat and repeat <laughs> repeat Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. The last person said. The last person said. <laughs> because this? Because this. Because this. Is the way progressives express themselves now. Express themselves. Express themselves now. Now. <laughs> now. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. No, no. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stupid. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. See, we care. See, we care. Yeah, we care. We wow. do care. We care. We care. Wow. Are you buying? Are you buying some some ad campaigns across the across yes. the country with that? Yes. We'll be. Yes. We'll be seen all over the country. It's outstanding. With that ad. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. No, thank no, no. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank me. <laughs> so ridiculous. I hate that technique mm -hmm. so much. It just must be mocked. Become a thing. It has to be mocked. 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 <laughs> mocked. Uh, repetition. Because today. Maybe. Today. <laughs> today. Today. Today? I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't. I can't take it. We want to thank. Take it. Thank. Take it. Thank. Take it. You. <laughs> All right, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also uh, at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Use those numbers uh, and that uh, and that Twitter uh, tomorrow, and we'll get into all this all over again. I'm sure there's going to be uh, much more to <sighs> cause our heads to explode. What could happen? What could happen? Hardly anything. I'm sure we didn't even get to the Jerry Nadler thing. Trying <laughs> to put awesome. on his mask. We got time. Hit it. Yeah, all right. The Nadler. The right. Let's, let's end with ending. Jerry yeah. Nadler mm -hmm. trying to put his mask on. Here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Okay, oh wait, boy, it's still stuck in my glasses. Tangled up, and then oh, I'll boy. just get uh, it out of my glasses. Here I am wearing my we go. cultural appropriation scarf, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let me see if I can get the, the backwards. Oh, boy. I love the backwards. I love this. Oh, the glasses <laughs> and the. the I love it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is such a <laughs> unreal. Dish. All right, see you tomorrow. Pat Gray, only on the Blaze Radio Network.